Come in, Eddie. You? <laughs> oh, I, I just want to thank you for a perfectly marvelous evening. Well, it was my pleasure. Just throw that old thing over on the chair there. <laughs> and I'll go out and make us a little snack. Oh, wait, I think i better cut out, because i got to get a good night's sleep tonight. Well, now, if you'll just stick around for a few minutes, I'll fix you something that will help you sleep. What's that? A cup of hot chocolate. Oh, I'd like that. <laughs> and while you're waiting, you can listen to some of my uh, favorite albums. Oh, well, uh, who, who you got? Oh, Frank Sinatra, Jack Jones, Andy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not too much of a record fan. <laughs> oh, well, why don't you just turn on the radio then? <clears throat> All right. Everybody falls in love somehow Something in your kiss just told me That sometime is now Well, if I had you in my power I'd arrange for every girl to have your charm <laughs> Then every minute, every hour Every boy would find what I found in your heart Well, everybody loves somebody sometimes there's no telling where. Oh, boy, this makes me so mad. What? You even sing better than he does. <laughs> You're just prejudiced. No, oh, leave it to Hollywood to make a star out of the one with the least talent. Let's not get bitter. Maybe Dean doesn't have a lot of talent. Maybe he has been lucky, but it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Well, I guess he does have his good points. Hmm. And now, folks, we interrupt our music to bring you a news bulletin. Tonight, a real-life drama took place in the making of a motion picture. A horse ran away with Dean Martin's leading lady, and she was rescued by the heroic action of Dean Martin's double, Eddie Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder you sing better than he does. <laughs> Eddie Feldman is a wonderful guy, and he found out he had to work tonight. And if he broke this engagement with you, you'd think he was some kind of a Hollywood phony, so I offered to take his place, that's all. Why didn't you tell me you were Dean Martin right off the bat? I'd have gone out with you anyway. <laughs> It's been a very lovely evening. I had a very nice time, but under the circumstances, I certainly can't accept this. And why not? <laughs> For one thing, you're married. You should give it to your wife. Well, sorry, Lucy, but you're stuck with it. Why? Well, if I took that home to my wife, she'd think I did something. 